Hi everyone, here's my last lesson in week two. This is lesson four, it's my word collage. It's hand lettering on bands of color, so much fun. Now, I've shown you watercolor, I've shown you a lot of watercolor techniques, but you could certainly use acrylics to do this particular technique. I'm going to use an acrylic paint marker, and again, you can get any kind, there are paint markers everywhere, all different brands. What I'm showing you in this lesson is, is to use the dark on the card with a white pen. Also, I'm just going to show you uh, just a couple of lettering styles on here. And this is my envelope. I just painted on the envelope. I showed you how to make a grid in pencil. And again, one of my very favorite techniques in my lettering classes online is to use this I call the whimsy grid. And the grid is would be a wonderful thing to do on a card and just leave the leave the marker already on the card. And I'm just going to show you how I'd letter on a grid like this for a card, especially for a card. If you have a message or a, a special sentiment. So I'm going to use my Tombow markers and you see that the Tombow marker is a dual brush. So it does have this nice fine point as well as that brush tip. So if I'm going to letter, you see that I'm going from top to bottom. I'm just going to free write the word happy birthday. I'm just writing a message to you. I'm not going to sing it, I promise. To you, happy. So all I'm doing is I'm writing the message in the grid and I'm ju I just keep writing. I keep lettering. I'm using my own personal printing and I'm just working in the shape and the style of that grid. And this is what I'm getting. Happy birthday to you. And then I'm going to write it again. So you see how I'm in that grid. I'm using that shape. I'm going from top to bottom. I'm changing the letters as I go. So again, this is one of the techniques that I absolutely do in every class because it just it just makes your own handwriting look so fancy, so creative, so fun. And I did it. I made the whole word happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Then you can take another color marker or another color pen and you can color in the negative space in between the letters so that the, the, the letters start to pop. So that's a fun, a fun way to also add lettering to your cards. And again, you could just use a really simple little message. So there's just another way to make another card front with, with some lettering using your own handwriting. I mentioned that it was it's fun to kind of have the cards out so that as you're inspired, the cards are right there. And someday you might want to just take out some paint and just paint some shapes on the card. And this is what I call the word collage. So I'm taking my white pen and I just am going to like journal on this card. So let's say I did this little watercolor and it's on my desk. So I write every day I am blessed. So here I have this fun little band and I just make my sentence stretch all the way the width of that band. I can take one of my acrylic paint markers and I can add some real bold letters. And what I would really wanted to teach you with the lettering in this class is to use your art elements with your own handwriting to create sizing, to create composition, and to create interest in your cards with your own handwriting. Just change up the tools that you're using. For example, you have the white pen, the white paint marker, you have a white, a white gel pen, you have the sparkle pens. There, there's so many different pens that you can use. So for my word collage, I'm just writing just different words right in these little bands, but you see that I'm filling up the bands with my own writing. I could just leave these empty and there's a card. There's a beautiful card with a message that you can send to someone and it is painted. It is lettered. It's your handwriting. You've just changed up the tools. And you've just discovered a new way to arrange your message, but a lot of fun. So I just want to thank you for coming by and doing some artful card making with my whimsical watercolors and pens and lettering techniques. Have fun with it. And I hope to see some of you on my online classes on lettering and doodling and drawing. And maybe I'll even see you on the road. But again, thanks so much for being here. And thank you to Strathmore.